right, this is our two station helium mass spectrometer leak detector. This machine uses a concentration of helium and air in our containment hood that goes over the top of the unit that's under test. Inside this unit we have 10%, excuse me, 15 percent helium to air ratio. We have a mixing uh, ratio controller that maintains that. The principle of operation is this. The units can still have the quick disconnect unit. Let me just say for demonstration purposes, we're going to use this one coil. And we're just going to use one side of the unit. In testing the plate, plate coil that was sent to us, the heat exchanger, we found that it has leaks in the helium uh, test. But to, to give you a good demonstration, we'll choose a unit that's leak tight. Uh, again, the principle of operation is such that we attach the unit with the quick disconnect fittings to these test hoses. These test hoses are connected to two vacuum pumps uh, through vacuum valves. We draw a vacuum on the inside circuit of the unit. During the vacuum test, which uh, we perform a vacuum pressure rise test uh, to ensure that, that the system is, has integrity before helium testing to the mass spectrometer. The first portion of the test is that we'll inject nitrogen into the interior of the coil to help remove any moisture or non-condensables. Then we evacuate the coil down to 100 microns or less. At that point, we perform the vacuum decay test where we measure the vacuum change in the unit to verify content. Verify that the unit is tight and ready for helium testing. Once the unit passes that vacuum pressure decay test, another valve in the back opens up and shows, exposes this circuit, the internal circuit, to the mass spectrometer. If the unit has a leak during the evacuation, the, back, the helium would go through whatever leak to the mass spectrometer at the end of the vacuum pressure decay test. Again, the unit is placed in here. The hoses are connected very similarly to the pressure decay machine. <coughs> and then the hood is lowered. At the start of the test, helium is put into the outside chamber. There's a fan that helps make sure it's a homogeneous mixture. Again, the ratio controller sensor on the back adds helium to the chamber as necessary to maintain the ratio. Right now we're using a 